Hi y'all, uh, welcome back to my blog. My name's John, and today I thought why not do an album review over video over one of the most anticipated albums of this year, and that is Adele's 30 album. Now keep in mind, this album came six years after her last album in 2015, which was 25. Now her being 30, or 30, or a little over 30, should we say, six years later we get the album 30 which is something that we didn't know for sure if we were gonna get or something that she was gonna drop but she ended up deciding to let us have a sneak peek and listen to it looking back and after listening to all the songs on the album i will say that i think this album in particular was her most contemporary and diverse piece yet it gave us some of those adult classics where she was belting out a tune as well as giving us some new sounds that were more modern yet classic at the same time and it was just something different that a lot of people ha i felt like have not heard from her before and of course everyone already got to listen to her first song which was the debut song on the album called easy on me and it was a really really good song that i felt like did well about showing how adele has changed throughout these five years and kind of the pain and struggles she went through specifically in that music video you kind of see her moving on and have starting to have a fresh start one of the biggest differences I felt like when looking at this album was what she had been through from being 25 up until being 30. As we see throughout this album, we get to hear her experiences through her recent divorce with her last marriage, as well as her having a kid and dealing with that divorce while being a single mother as well, which is something we get to hear a little bit a lot in, in the song My Little Lover, which actually includes voice memos of her son and her speaking and just kind of talking about the struggles that she had to deal with with getting out of a divorce while still having a kid and being that single mother and trying to parent with and the kids experiences going through the divorce as well oh my god can i get it and love is a game were three songs i felt like were very different from any of her albums before and kind of gave us more of a little upbeat tempo as well as some more pop flow in there as well because personally i think that this album was way more slower ballad pop and more soul and r&b than any of her previous albums as well she also includes a song called all night parking interlude with errol gardner who is a famous jazz pianist and that one i felt like was really cool because it definitely got to show the more instrumental side within this album given that it had a bunch of different instruments including that famous pianist and then of course also we get those Adele classics like Strangers by Nature, Hold On, and To Be Loved, which are all really powerful and emotional songs talking about her struggles within these past five years. My personal favorite on the album was definitely To Be Loved because I felt like it was her most vulnerable song and it also just really got in depth on how she was feeling within the divorce of her marriage. And it was just very emotional and I felt like it very much told the story about how she was feeling and what was going on. In the end, after listening to the whole album, I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little skeptical. I didn't know if I for sure was really liking this new sound that Adele had. After listening to the full album, I definitely am a fan. I thought it was one of her best pieces of work. I also thought it was her most vulnerable piece of work and also most mature piece. I feel like we've seen her grow a lot, especially just her voice in itself. And we have seen her go through a lot of things in these past five years so if you are an adele fan or if you are just wanting to go listen to something new something a little bit more vulnerable a little bit more different contemporary and just a little bit more of a storytelling aspect of it definitely go check out adele's 30 album which is out now i will definitely be listening to it as well